Sheldon Brooms Brooms don't care. Here's what I would like my fellow landscapers to understand when it comes to pricing. There is no correct price. And I put in correct, I wish you could see my fingers in, in quotes, inverted commas. There is no correct price. There's a price that's fit for you. Meaning, let's say you're a single guy living in a one bedroom apartment. Should you have to take care of yourself? A price for you could be way less, could be half the price of what I charge. And both of us could still be correct. Since I have, I would have made way more responsibilities, meaning I have three kids, I have a wife, whatnot, right? So I have way more responsibilities, whereas you may have less responsibilities. Let's say we give two quotes for the same job and your price is way cheaper, mine would be way more expensive. Which one is right, which one is wrong? There is no right or wrong, there is the price that's suitable for you. So let's get that in your head. No. I want to share some tips that I use to get over my fear of pricing. You need to understand what is your motivation. Meaning, let's say we stop using actual money, cash numbers and we go back to the bartering system. Bartering system basically means we exchange goods and services with each other. No money involved. For example, a man want a cow, he give you, I don't know, four goods for that cow, right? No money involved, bartering system. So let's say we're still live in that world. An example, this is how you use an example of bartering system in your mind. You're not telling your clients this, but in your mind, you create a bartering system. For example, after you listen to your client, he expresses his wants, his needs, whatever. He says... I would like my yard crisp lawn. I would like to plant a lawn here. I like to put a decorated stone bed. I like to put some trees over there. He goes into great detail as to what it is he wants, what it is he wants, how he wants his yard to look. You are like, great, great, great. Yes, I can do that for you. Give you exactly what it is you need to make you happy. Now it's your turn to express what it is you need as a landscaper to make you happy. Remember this is business, shake hands, we agree. Now what you may need, you may need to be able to feed your family this month without them having to worry about where we are getting food from. So you tell, no you're not actually telling the client this, but this is how you're thinking. But if it was a real conversation, it would go something like this. Okay, Mr. Client, I give you exactly what you want. Your lawn, your decor stone, your plants, your trees in this location. And this is what you give me. You provide me with groceries this month so I can feed my family. Good? Now, let's say the client says, you know what? I am not willing to feed your family to get what I want. You as the landscaper, would you still make that deal? Yes or no? Would you still make that deal with that client? Knowing that he's getting what he wants, but you're not getting what you want. Would you go ahead and make that deal? I would like to hope that the answer would be no. You would not move forward with that agreement because you are not getting what you want. So this is the mentality I push in order to keep my sanity and stick to my prices. The price is simply a number that represent what you will get at the end of this job now your motivation could be anything it could be okay i would like to pay my rent for this month is that a deal as a client i get my rent paid this month and i give you what you want deal yes or no or it could be i would like to do repairs on my vehicle so i could continue serving you so how about i get my vehicle repaired and I give you what you want. It's as simple as that. So eliminating money, you have to 
think about the motivation behind the money. Will you be able to get what you want while you can't get what they want? Now, sometimes you'll be tempted to, instead of getting groceries for the month, you might say, okay, well, I'll go take groceries for two weeks, and you settle. You tend to settle. So the client gets what he wants, and you get half of what you want. That's still not fair. But that tends to happen when you're in a desperate state. And how you get in a desperate state when you're not great at marketing your business? No. When you come great at marketing your business, you get options. And with those options, if that client don't want to shake your hand and be like, all right, I'll give you groceries for the month, you find the next client who is willing to give you groceries for the month. And you don't sweat with that client. You even, you're not willing to further conversation with this client because once again, he's getting what he want, you're not getting what you want. That's not a good deal. So find a client who is willing to give you what you want as well to move forward. Hope this video makes sense. Hope it helps you out, landscapers, because I know plenty of you are having a hard time. Get rid of the numbers, get rid of the money, just think about what the money actually does for you in order to keep pushing forward. Take care, Brooms Lawn Care.